Welcome to your national weather update. Plenty going on over the next few days, including through the weekend. First of all, we've got uh, plenty of very warm sunshine to end Thursday, but also one or two isolated thunderstorms. There's a, a bigger Met Office yellow warning in place, but not everywhere in that warning is going to see the thundery downpours. They're very hit and miss, but where they uh, are occurring, some large hail is likely, a lot of heavy rain along with some gusty winds. They're drifting northwards through the evening and overnight. Some heavy showers likely across parts of eastern Scotland, but tending to move through here. Further south, turning uh, generally dry, some clearer spells, but it's not going to make the temperatures drop off too much. Quite a warm, humid night. Temperatures holding in the mid-teens in most urban areas, so not a particularly comfortable night for sleeping. On to the details for Friday. And again, it's going to be a rather messy one with some places having plenty of very warm sunshine, but others, again, likely to see some showers. Initially, most likely over Wales and southwest England. But as the sun gets to work over northern England, particularly east of the Pennines, there's a, a danger of further big thundery showers breaking out here come the afternoon. It could also cause some disruption again, a potential for lightning, hail and gusty winds. A scattering of showers further south, one or two for Scotland, but large parts of Scotland actually just dry and bright. Might be a little bit of mist or ha on the coast to across the far northeast. Not too many showers across the southeast of England and East Anglia. And then further west, we have a band of rain moving in, and that's going to turn things pretty soggy across Northern Ireland through the day. And that will then spread into Wales and southwest England later on. Still reasonably warm, especially across the east, but temperatures generally a few degrees lower than Thursday. Still feeling quite warm and quite humid at this stage. However, fresher air is coming in from the west. This band of rain sweeping into Wales and southwest England already across Northern Ireland will kind of arch its way across all parts as we head through Friday night and into Saturday. Behind that, clearer air, but also with some showers and things are turning windier as well. That line of rain is a weather front. If we just rewind it and then move through the sequence again, you can see how that weather front introduces cooler and fresher air across the country. So things getting more comfortable at night, although it'll be late in the night before the temperatures start to drop off across the east of England. So still fairly warm and humid here to start Saturday. But a fresher feel on Saturday across the board. Still some sunshine to be had, especially over central and eastern parts of England once that weather front has cleared through. But plenty of showers coming in for Wales, western England and western parts of Scotland and more rain edging into Northern Ireland too. And all the while the winds will be picking up, especially so for Northern Ireland, turning quite gusty here. It will be a fresher day. We could still get to 23, 24 in the sunny spells across the southeast, but generally we're looking at high teens low 20s at best. You can see that swirl there. That is an area of low pressure that will dominate the weather through the weekend, bringing strong winds to Northern Ireland initially. But as that low just kind of ambles its way a little further north, we'll see some gusty winds developing too across parts of western Scotland. So nothing uh, too strong in terms of the wind strength, but for the time of year, I think that is pretty gusty conditions that could cause a few issues. So unseasonably windy conditions across the uh, northwest in particular, a breezy but fresher day for most on Saturday. And it'll be a similar story on Sunday with another mixture of sunshine and showers. More details on that with a full weekend forecast if you subscribe to our YouTube channel.